guys and girls, it's Ginger here back with another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to spawn the Huskin Stray and some other secret features. Oh look, there's a jungle biome over there. And if you spawn a skeleton in a snow biome, this looks like a snow biome but it isn't. You have to find some kind of snow biome to spawn a skeleton. Um, and this looks like a tiny jungle biome. We don't know. Yeah, it's a jungle biome. It's a jungle biome in the corner of the world. Um, I need to find a snow biome. Um, where is the snow biome actually? Well, we will eventually find it if we keep um flying through the world. Mm. Um, so never mind. We'll just keep. Trying to find the biome. Mm, so this could be a snow biome. I might, it doesn't. How about this? No, it doesn't. We just made a whole loop around. We go here. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. That is the snow biome. That is the snow biome. Look, this is not a snow biome. Again, still, why? That's the take up spruce biome. Wait, did I just make a full loop again? Please don't say I did. Please don't say I did. Um, we need to find a snow biome. And the husky spawned in a desert biome. We'll just go searching around if we can find that biome. If we can't, I'll just go through the other secret features. Um, so this one involves when you're sleeping. Okay, so let's just go in for a little bit and see. Um, looks like we won't be able to find one right now. But trust me, you can spawn it in a snow biome. This, remember, this tray is in a snow biome. The husk is in a desert biome. The, the husk is a zombie egg. The tray is a skeleton egg. And one more thing. This is a secret feature as well. Skeletons are smarter now. If we spawn them in fire, hopefully this one goes there to shelter. Oh crap, never mind. We'll just destroy that block. Never mind. It's just burning, right? It, it goes in the sun. It sheds. It gets shaded. And they're smarter now. Including, it, this includes trays. And this one is another secret feature. Well, you have to be, it has to be nighttime. And you sleep in the bed. You see this? I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it's actually kind of fun. So that's what it does. And one more thing. Most of you who have been wanting fishing rods to hook items, this is the time. I drop as much items as possible as possible as, as I want. And I just hook it to this. It it comes, see? This is another secret feature. If someone dropped their items and you have a fishing rod in battle mode, this is handy, you can hook their items up. Or if someone's um like near you, they don't realize you, that you're there. There's a weapon, they're about to get it. You can just hook your fishing rod and get it, and you can go fight them. This is another handy feature. And I think that's it. I don't know, but I also need to tell you guys about something else. Most of you who have been wondering how to spawn the Ender Dragon, this is how you spawn it. Hopefully it works this time because I've never spawned in it before. 
I've tried to, but it doesn't work. The crystals just keep exploding. These crystals. I don't know what did I do. Never mind, I'll just leave it here. Um, so let's just build it here. Um, and hopefully it should come up. The portal. I guess that's it. The portal's here. Um, we just get in. If you get the dragon. Sorry if this is loud for you. And you can also it has needs to be bedrock if you want to respawn the ender dragon. So just hit the crystal. No but don't hit the bedrock. I think that might be the problem. Uh, as you see, if you hit the crystal, sometimes it does damage the ender dragon. is very useful for and if you duplicate like the end crystal unfortunately um, if that glitch was here you could just craft like infinite end crystal but unfortunately it's not here all you have to do is um put four end crystals on the middle of each side and it should start performing this ritual and it should be for all the end crystals one by one, see? It will start restoring the end crystal. And the cool ritual will start performing. Does it respawn the ender dragon? And it should be spawned right now. Oh. Yeah, it should be spawned. So that's how you respawn the ender dragon. And if you wonder how. If you if you want that how to go to the end city, you'll see these type of gates. You just put an ender pole through them. It's pretty risky to try from the ground. I almost made it there, but if you power up and do it, it's easier. And another secret feature which I'll be teaching you, it works with any arrow. And so and you have a bow and you put it in your inventory. And you have arrows in the hot bar. Or your hot HUD. You can just hold left trigger on the arrow. The type of arrow you're holding, it'll just fire the type of arrow. So that's gonna be the end of this video, and I'm gonna be ending the video right here. And if you're new and you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. 